Hi YouTube. So I haven't done one of these videos for a little while now. Um, I'm switching out my Smile Direct aligner and I'm now on um, 6 of 15. And I really wasn't going to do this video because it's super late. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, Saturday or yeah, early Saturday or late Friday, I guess you could say, but really it's Saturday. And Saturday is when I'm su supposed to switch these out, but I don't want to wait because if I wait until tomorrow, I'll end up switching it out in the middle of the day. And I don't like doing that. I like to do it like right before I go to bed. And if I wait until late, late, late Saturday, it'll be actually Sunday because then it's going to be right before I go to bed, which is like 12, one o'clock. So I do it now. So I hope that makes sense, but it's really technically it, it is Saturday. So that's what I like. That's when I like to switch these out right late, late Friday night or Saturday morning. So yeah, I haven't stir or rinse these. There's, you're supposed to rinse these before you put them in. So I have a bowl of water here. And this is the other reason I really don't want to do these videos anymore is because it's just a hassle. It's so much easier <clears throat> just to, um, do this in the bathroom and just hold them under the water and use a toothbrush or whatever. But yeah, I just, I thought I'd show you my progress. You can't really see much, but anyway, um, this tooth is still sitting too far back. It's not like up in front or along the side of this tooth. It's, it's too far in. This one, this one's a little bit too far back as well. They're, they're both going to come more out, like what make it wider. And that is too far back. So it's going to go like, more like this side. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, um, <clears throat> for the longest time, I never, I never knew, understood where no one ever told me about tongue posture. And unfortunately, that's kind of how my teeth got all messed up, I think. Well, actually, I wore braces too, but then I never wore the retainer. And that's the other thing, even though I have, I do, I keep reminding myself to mew, which is, it's called mewing where you keep your tongue up against your palate all the way back like this. Not, not like relaxed in the back, but up tight against your palate. And that keeps your teeth as long as you keep your lips together. And see, for the longest time, I never could keep my lips together. And that's why I had to have jaw surgery because my upper jaw grew down and it pushed my jaw back and I could never close my lips together. I know it sounds disgusting, but yeah, it was. <laughs> Otherwise I never would have went through all that. It was horrible. Can you imagine not being able to close your mouth? Like always having your mouth like and your teeth like, like this. <sighs> okay. Enough of that. Right. Okay. So anyway, anyway I took them out of the bag. I put them in the water. So I'll probably, I'll do another update in about maybe two more months or something. And by then it should be a lot more progress. And actually I should be done with these by this summer, like around June, as long as everything goes well and I don't have to do any more, um, what do they call those? when you get re they reevaluate it at the end and then they make to make sure, I guess, if you like how they look or something. So, and that's the, no extra, no extra charge for that. This is water with about a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide in it. So, yep. Just wanted to rinse them off a little bit. And then I have some water over here which is just 
plain water with no pro no hydrogen in it. So, yep. Um, <clears throat> so far, I have had zero pain. The only thing I can't really do is I can't like bite into corn on the cob because it just feels a little a little sore, I, I would say. But other than that, I can chew on pretty much anything else. I eat, I've just ate a bunch of uh, almonds the other day and no problem with that. I chew on ice, no problem, no pain, nothing. So yeah, just not, just don't want to do corn on the cob. So no problem. I don't even really like corn on the cob that much. And so far I've had no trouble whatsoever putting these in or taking them out. The only time I ever, excuse me, had to burp. I only had one time when I first put the very first one of 15 in. That time it was hard for the first two or three days to get out, but now it's not a problem. But yeah, enough talking. I've had my other ones out now for about an hour because I had to eat and brush my teeth and I had to do the water pick and then I had to floss and then brush my teeth. And I mean, I, it's like a whole big process. It's like, you can't just, you know, um, put these in with your teeth with food in it. And, and it's, um, it's a, it's a process because it's, it's like, I got to do all this stuff, like water pick, floss, brush. It's like three different things. And plus I had to rinse my mouth out. Oh, I use, um, uh, this, um, what's it called for braces. It's called act for braces. And I use that. So uh, I probably need to go get a checkup here in a couple more months just to make sure everything's okay. All right, we'll see how this goes. That, that is the right one. I'll put the bottom one in first, I guess. These are quite different than my old ones. Oh, wow. Okay, well, these are pretty tight. Yep, they went in. Feel good. A lot of pressure, but I kind of like it actually. And I have been keeping, trying to keep proper tongue posture as much as I can because it's, it becomes like, if the more you do it, the more you don't have to think about it and the more it becomes just a habit. So I'm going to do a little proper tongue posture with these. So it's important to, again, you keep your tongue all the way up against your palate from tip to way in the back to your throat, into your throat up as much as you can. And there's something called um, strong mewing, I think, where you really force it and when you get a lot of like, you'll get like um, some, I get like a little bit of, burn in through here because it's the muscle and um the more you do it again it becomes a habit and then pretty soon it's just like you don't have to think about it but if you don't a lot of people you see these people and they have like i know i'm not one to talk because i don't have much of a jawline but again like i said i never never kept proper tongue posture up until just a few months ago really but that's kind of why i have such a weak jawline it's um you're supposed to keep your tongue up against your palate 
I think when, when I was a child, I probably had allergies and that, that's why I like started like breathing out of my mouth. Cause a lot of kids, they, if they can't breathe out of their nose, I mean, of course, you know, you're going to breathe out of your mouth. And I think that's what happened. Um, probably, I don't know. Not m many number, numbers of things could have happened why my jaw didn't grow properly but that could have just been one of them. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it usually feels like this for about a day or two. And then after that, there's, it's not painful. It's just a little bit of pressure. And actually it's, it's getting better right now. It's not a problem. It's not, as bad as I imagined, because from what everyone says, I wouldn't say every, every, everyone, because well, I'm, I'm someone, right? And I, I've never complained, but most people I would say do complain and they say they're painful, but I don't know, maybe it's just their diet. I, I eat very healthily, you know, so I don't know what else it could be. I've often heard that, um, if you have a high amount of vitamin C in your system, then you can tolerate, um, you know, discomforts better, I guess. And um, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't think I really have a extremely high vitamin C, but the thing is sugars will deplete your vitamin C. And I don't really eat a lot of sweets I don't like candy. I don't like soda. And yeah, I don't like a lot of sweet things. But the only sweet thing I have usually is my lattes. That's like the sweetest thing I have all day. That's like my number one addiction or treat that I don't want to give up. But other than that, I don't sit around and eat junk food or cookies or cakes or any of that stuff. And I try to have at least one juice as far as juicing goes. I make my own juice. I try to have at least one a day. It doesn't always work out like that because with, with these on, I can't like just snack whenever I try to keep it to about three meals a day. So I don't always get to have my juice, but um, it's not forever. It's just, trying to get my teeth straight. And then once they're straight, I got to <clears throat> have to wear a retainer at night, but in the day I, I won't have to. So then I can probably be, I'll be able to snack more, um, not snack, but you know, like just have my juice whenever I don't have to just like, uh, wait until my third or second meal or whatever. But yeah, that's about it. I'm really tired. It's like, I didn't really want to do this video because I am really tired. So, um, yeah, you see my teeth. I go too far in. Needs to come out this way and be like this side more. Like that. And this one goes too far in. See the difference? See how this one goes? further behind than this one. And even this one goes a little too far behind still. It's gonna come out more this way. Yeah, I'll probably do another update in a couple months and it should be a lot more progress. It, it should pretty much look how it's going to look in another, I don't know, three or four months. I think, with, what is this, uh, February 1st? So let's see, March, April, May, about three more months, it's going to look really, really close to how it's going to look. And then June, and then I'm pretty much done. And cause I have to, I change these out like every two weeks. 
And when I first got these, I thought that I would change them out like for like every like three weeks. I don't know what made me think. I think because I saw a video and someone said that they change theirs every three weeks, but no, it's every two weeks and, and it never changes. It's always to every two weeks. So, yep, I'll be done on quicker than I thought, than I originally thought. <sighs> okay, I'm going to bed now. Good night. <laughs>